But to pass along to you, especially from northwest North Dakota, Alamo over two inches of rain from today with this persistent band of uh, precipitation over northwestern North Dakota. Crosby at over an inch and a half. Williston at the airport at one, about one and a third inches of rain. Uh, we also have Center at over a half inch of rain and Minot now over a half inch of rain as well. Just under a half inch in Hazen and Mott. Uh, steel at about a quarter inch, Bowman at two tenths and around that point. 1.5 inch mark in the Bismarck Mandan area. A lot of areas though are dry now where you see a lot of, of uh, sunshine as well breaking out, but we still have that persistent band of showers mainly to the north of US 2 closer to the Canadian border and that will spin wheel kind of back down to the south and east later on today, but more so in the form of just some isolated showers for this evening region wide. We have some winds out of variable directions around this area of low pressure kind of in a uh, counterclockwise fashion. Some wind gust upwards of 30 miles per hour and those somewhat gustier winds will continue into our afternoon with temperatures a lot warmer for south central and eastern locations where the sunshine is more prevalent compared to the cloud cover and the rain showers in Williston only at 59 for a high uh, as we go into the afternoon. So the showers continuing over northwest North Dakota, sunny skies elsewhere, temperatures uh, again cooler to the northwest compared to the south central and east. Here's a 7 p.m. snapshot, isolated stronger storm potential in this green highlight area right over south central North Dakota as we're expecting a little bit more instability and a couple of these storms could produce some uh, small hail or some gusty winds but uh, as this uh, band of precipitation across western North Dakota moves to the east that'll uh, really dissipate so by around 11 o'clock I think a lot of areas will be dry as this area of low pressure starts to finally exit our region and we'll see a mostly sunny sky to start our Wednesday with then stronger winds developing as a couple of cold fronts slide through so into Wednesday afternoon a couple of isolated showers possible with wind gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour and the wind continues to intensify for Thursday. So in, uh, into the afternoon today we could have some gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour. That'll be the similar story on Wednesday with gusts up to 30 miles per hour out of the west. But watch what happens into Thursday. Those wind gusts will likely be over 40 miles per hour out of the northwest direction continuing to draw in cooler air. So Wednesday's forecast highs mostly in the 60s but at the end of the week on Friday highs look to only be in in the upper 40s to near 50 degrees and in the overnight hours our frost and freeze potential certainly increases especially by Saturday morning. We could also have some frost conditions on Friday morning but the limiting factor for that will be if our winds continue to be strong in the overnight normally you need some pretty light winds for a frost to develop but then look what happens as we go into Sunday and Monday is also going to be a little bit warmer so a warming trend as we go after our weekend but in the meantime to wrap up the work week Krista certainly taking the plunge with our temperatures into that fall-like feel. That's right. Fall is on the way, but followed by a warm-up, so it won't be so bad. Exactly.